Hi, my name is Flossie. What's been your three highlights? Making memories the whole time. I am going to get on the ferry, get something to eat, and go sleep. I'm so tired. And I have met some friends on the boat and I'm going to give them a ride down the island. And this is my 1999 Ford E350 step van, my tiny home on wheels. Picking up hitchhikers is one of those forever do I don't I questions when living in a van on the road. It's been almost a month and I can't believe how time has flown so fast. Leaving Amanda, separating our ways to meet up again who knows when. And leaving behind all these amazing memories I have now made in Haida Gwaii. It's been the most amazing trip, but I can't wait to feel into what's next. Final quiz time. <laughs> final hike slash brief walk after work for the day. Mm -hmm. How's it been? Great. We've had the best weather imaginable. Yeah. And I'm honestly so glad there's like really bad weather coming after you leave <laughs> because I need to get work done. Oh, I've We've been keeping been Amanda like from making memories the whole time. <laughs> you can blame me for your late videos. It's fine. What's been your three highlights? Uh, one highlight is three paddling trips in a week. <laughs> yes. Which pairs with eating all that different seafood. Yes. So that's like one and a half. Okay, great. Because mine is the dives. Um, and the seafood. Three highlights. We'll come back to the next two. It's beautiful though. Salmon spot. Okay. Okay. Second highlight. And second highlight would be the bear. Like oh. seeing it over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, that was really fun. One of my other highlights has been that initial ferry ride. Oh yeah. We met up together and it was just so fun and so wild and so crazy. And I got some really cool shots with the 360 camera and we just had a blast. Yeah. The manic energy. I've never had so much fun being sleep deprived. <laughs> the bear was pretty freaking fantastic too. Third highlight. All the fires. Oh! All the big campfires. Oh and gosh. how easy firewood has been, especially because fire season never lasts through the whole summer and it doesn't usually restart until early November. So it's been really great to get a bunch of them in. Fuck yeah, we've had some yeah. beautiful, beautiful campfires. Yeah. Warm. Yeah. And I've even stayed up well past my bedtime. <laughs> leaving from my favorite place on the islands, it feels like I am leaving behind the gateway to the beyond for the next time I come back here. Ahead of me, three ferries and many, many, many hours of travel, overnight in fact, to get all the way back to Vancouver Island. Kisses! 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 Oh, look!
It's never goodbye. It's it. always see you later. See you somewhere else soon. Oh, I didn't get on this ferry or into this room until about 1 a.m. in the morning. And I'm pretty sure it's about 6 now, 6 a.m. And then I think I have to go off island, off into Prince Rupert, turn around and wait to drive back on again in a couple hours. I'm grateful, so grateful that I put myself on the standby list to get a bed tonight. Made a massive difference. I would not have slept, slept if I had been trying to sleep on a seat or a chair. I'm such a light and sensitive, sensitive sleeper. Anyway, I'll see you when I get back to the van. straight across I mean almost it was uphill a little bit now we're downhill and it is a miserable weather day out there look rain 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 I am going to get on the ferry get something to eat and go sleep I'm so tired Loading and packing as many vehicles as possible onto ferries this big is literally an art form. Reversing back, getting everybody to spin around and go back into the boat so that they can then exit off smoothly at the other end requires a sense of precision that I'm glad I have confidence in my driving for. Kind of inch your way that way a bit. Okay. Inch your way that way. Yeah. And now straighten your wheel like, You watched all of that backwards, but that's the clearance. This is the clearance. It is so close. 
I am so, so grateful. I have so much practice of reversing this van back in swirly patterns, like, holy moly, holy moly, holy moly. <laughs> yeah, this is, reversing backwards is not for the faint hearted on a boat this tight. On the other ferry, I had somebody immediately right next to me this side. They put somebody else in there soon. <laughs> I am back in Port Hardy, 
down by the ocean. It is beautiful this morning. And I have met some friends on the boat and I'm going to give them a ride down the island. We're going to, they're coming over hitchhiking and traveling from the UK. And I think they've got hiking packs and tents and stuff. And I think we're all going to camp together for the next couple of nights. So that'll be lovely. Hopefully tonight we can have campfire, um, make some several scenic stops. I've sort of planned out the maps of where I want to go and yeah, it's going to be really lovely. I'm looking all the way along the coast, trying to like suss out my future places that I want to come back and dive, of course, because my love of the ocean revolves around where can I get in. But yeah, and the weather today is just freaking glorious. I'm happy, I'm sleepy, I'm still waking up, I've just had breakfast. Life is really good. I feel uplifted and I feel um, excited. I get back and meet up with my partner after this and then we are going to head to Washington, which is even more exciting. So the adventure doesn't stop here, which is pretty neat. So yeah, thanks for being along with, the, with me on this journey and I'll see you soon. I've seen these only from the top side. Get my book out afterwards. Whoa. That's so Yeah. <laughs> 
You know those moments where you happen upon a spot that you've taken a chance on with people you've taken a chance on for a time that you're taking a chance on and everything just turns up perfect. This is what this spot felt like. I had never been here before. I had found it randomly on a map and just popped in and it was very quiet. There wasn't too many people there. And the rest of the evening around the campfire, going in for a cold dip in the ocean, all just added up to my favorite things in the most gorgeous of locations. While I do spend most of my time in the ocean wrapped up warmly in my wetsuit, seven millimeters double layered of neoprene, occasionally I love just getting in and feeling the cold water directly on my skin. It is not warm. The Pacific Northwest Ocean is brisk, to say the least. And a cold dip is mightily refreshing and today was warm enough just to do so and dry off afterwards in the warm wind. Although not all three of us were up for it. <laughs> Refreshed and alive and awake and invigorated and deeply in our bodies after a cold swim, it was dinner time. Campfire cooked, delicious meal, we had a lot of veggies to cook up and it was a perfect evening for a campfire dinner in front of the van next to the ocean and under the stars.
Thank you so much for coming along with me on this adventure. I have enjoyed my time so much and this feels like a transition chapter between one adventure and another. Another pretty dreamy, lovely night. This time with company, more company, different company, pleasant company. Just letting you know that my subscriber count is getting so close to 5,000. If you would hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell, I'm gonna do a live stream when I hit 5,000. I'm very excited for that. And I'm also doing a mail out of a whole lot of stickers soon. So if you wanna get in on that, jump over to my website, flossyrocks.ca and purchase yourself some stickers. And there's other things there too that are almost gone. And I shall see you all next week. Bye.